All right, folks, it is uh, Fantasy Football with McLovin coming straight at you from Aruba. What's up, guys? Aruba. So, uh, Aruba. 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 It's beautiful here. Yep. So, uh, updates on other things. I'm up 500 still. Uh, 50516, actually. Um, overall, I just killed a Caribbean stud poker. Yeah, he did. That, that might be the fucking game for me. Yeah. From here on in. Marvin. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Mar Marvin was not only was Marvin hooking me up with hands. I flopped a straight. Yeah. I flopped a flush. Yeah. But the problem with Marvin is half the time it worked in my favor where he literally had nothing and didn't qualify. Right. The other half of the time it killed me that he didn't qualify because I had a flush off the right. flop. That's just the way. And I would have won like seventy-five bucks That's or just the way seven times the amount. Crumbles. Yeah, I'm with you. So, anyway, let's go right on into the news here. Um, Let's see. Safety Demps injures hamstring in Texans win. Texan safety Quinton Demps injured his hamstring early in the first half of Saturday's wild card win over Oakland and did not return. Um, this is a guy who's, um, you know, uh, a really key part to that, that secondary with the Texans. You know, their defense is, is uh, their strong part. Um, this is a guy who can both, you know, come up in the box and play and, and hit, and he can also cover. He's a very important part uh, to that Texas defense. He's a, he's a very good player. Um, is he? Did they say what his status is for? No, I, I mean, no, not yet. This is for. Remember, these stories were starting from four days ago. Okay. So there could be some updates throughout. Sure. Okay. All right, Seahawks Wilson sheds knee brace for playoffs. Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson plays without the protective knee brace he has worn since he suffered an injury to his MCL in week three. Yeah, I mean, uh, he played well, played very well. Um, overall, Seattle really played a good four-quarter game. Um, Detroit stayed with him for uh, about a half, and then uh, they pulled away and ended up you know, beating him pretty good. Um, like I said on the, the video that I made a couple days ago is – you know, Russell Wilson is has been in the league not that long, maybe, what, three or four years? And, and when you think about Russell Wilson, you think about it, a legitimate, pro, talented, experienced quarterback. He's, he has a lot of experience for, for technically a young quarterback. Um, he knows how to win games. He protects the ball. He's very smart. Um, and they need him in order to advance. And um, I think... Uh, he'll pick up right where he left off against Atlanta um, with their defense. But um, Russell Wilson, if he's not playing with the knee brace, I'm sure he's got an extra spunk and a little extra speed, um, you know, on the rollouts there and the QB sneaks and everything like that. So um, I expect, you know, him to play just as well against Atlanta as he did last week against Detroit. Smith Schuster leaving Trojans for NFL draft. USC's Juju Smith Schuster. The number four ranked draft eligible receiver, according to ESPN's Mel Kiper Jr., has declared for the NFL draft. Well, uh, USC receivers um, have a tendency to, to go to the NFL early and then fail miserably. Um, like our buddy EDP, uh, Nelson Aguilar was the same type of, of uh, receiver from USC, and he's been terrible. Um, you look at Dwayne Jarrett, you look at uh, Steve Smith, you look at a lot of these guys that were top-notch receivers at USC, and for some reason, um, when it comes to the pros, it, it doesn't equate. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Texans will stick with Osweiler for next round. Brock Osweiler went 14 of 25 for 168 yards and a touchdown for the Texans. He also ran for his score and did not turn the ball over in a game he started for just the third time this season. He's playing well. Maybe he got a wake-up call when he got benched, and then... Um, you know, when Savage got his uh, concussion, you know, he stepped up and uh, granted he beat a, uh, um, a, a below average Oakland Raiders team. But still, you know, it, winning is contagious. And, you know, if, if, if they're even going to be in the game, they're going to need him to play his best game of the year. Um, we've talked, you know, all throughout the year about how much is, excuse me, this guy's been getting paid and underachieving and. Um, everything like that, maybe it's, you know, starting to sink in and, you know, uh, you know he, he's got a little life underneath him. Every, all this, the stars are going to have to align in order, in order for Houston to win this game, but, um, you know, he's a starter. He's getting paid all the money, so um, I would expect him to start against New England. 
Texans owner firing O'Brien never considered. Bill O'Brien will be back as Houston's coach with owner Bob McNair saying O'Brien was safe regardless of the outcome of the team's wild card playoff game. Well, basically what, what he's saying is the fact of the matter is that Houston is playing in the, in the shittiest division in football and basically all you have to do in, in that division ever since Peyton Manning left, the, you know, the Colts would win that division every single year and it wouldn't be close and Houston would be looking for a new head coach. But for the, the fact of the matter is that Jacksonville and Tennessee haven't competed for years um, in that division, and Indy's up and down. They're always around eight and eight, nine and seven. Um, so Houston doesn't have to play their best football in order to win that division, and that's basically what what you need to do. And you know, as far as if you're a Houston Texan in that um, AFC South. So um, yeah, I mean, he did make the playoffs again. Yes, granted. Um, but as long as he makes the playoffs, I guess you can't fire him. He won a playoff game. Um, now uh, we'll see what, 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 what they can do against New England on uh, Saturday night. Del Rio talked out of Cook to McGloin quarterback switch. While Connor Cook admitted there was plenty of room for improvement in his starting debut Saturday, Raiders coach Jack Del Rio said his staff essentially talked him out of replacing the rookie. Yeah, I heard that. He said that on the radio in the post-game press conference. And basically he's the head coach, and, you know, if he wanted to do it, you know, you know, uh, he should have just done it, which I would have done. I, I watched Connor Cook playing that game, and he was dreadful. I mean, um, just absolutely atrocious. Um, looked like a JV quarterback. It, it was it was bad. And um, what, have you, what did you have to lose at that point? I mean, this guy was not going to get it done for you. Might as well give the other guy a shot to see if he can do something, at least get the ball rolling. I mean, they didn't score a touchdown until it was, it was too late anyway. So um, if you're the head coach, I know you – you consult with, with everybody else, but if you want to do it, then do it. Source, Williams in, Horton out as Browns D.C. Greg Williams will replace Ray Horton as the Browns defensive coordinator, a source told ESPN and NFL insider Adam Schefter, confirming multiple reports. Greg Williams, um, famously, most famously known for the uh, um, targeting the uh, San Francisco 49er players, the Bounty Gate, when he was in New Orleans. He's bounced around. I think he, I know he's been with... Uh, New Orleans, he's been with Washington, he's been with Buffalo, uh, he's been on, you know, the Saints. He's been on many, many teams, a defensive coordinator. Um, he's not a likable guy, never was, never will be. Um, and, you know, he's got a work cut out for him and with, with Cleveland's defense. Lions exceeded expectations, then fell flat in the end. The Lions overachieved, delivering eight comeback wins. But losing their final four games, including the playoff opener, was a disappointing end. Yeah, I think um, a lot of it had to do, I mean, you point to Stafford's, you know, hand, and he was never the same guy. I know he played tough and he played hard and didn't complain. Um, but basically, you know, once they, they beat Minnesota and they had that two-game lead in the NFC North there and then they, you know, choked on it, um, basically they became, you know, a, a, a good team and they came back to, you know, right where they are. They're an average team and, you know, Green Bay, you know, came out of nowhere. Um, and then eventually, you know, uh, won last week, but also beat out Detroit for the, the division. I think Detroit, Detroit definitely uh, took a big step forward as far as their organization and, and, and winning football games, and we'll see what they can do um, next year. Vikes to make Shermer full-time OC, source says. Pat Shermer will remain offensive coordinator of the Vikings, a job he has held on an interim basis since replacing Norv Turner in early November. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a tough guy to replace. That's a Hall of Fame uh, offensive coordinator you're replacing. I know Pat Schirmer is well-liked. He's, uh, he's a good offensive coordinator. Um, I think, you know, any time you, you jump in midseason to take over a coordinator job, it's not easy. But um, I think for what it's worth, he did a decent job, and they're rewarding him for that. Source, Chiefs will try to extend Reed in offseason. The Chiefs will try to extend Andy Reed's contract this offseason as he heads into the final year of his five-year deal. Yeah, I mean, uh, Andy Reid's, you know, uh, uh, um, a solid, solid NFL head coach. I know we always talk about the problems that he has with the clock, um, you know, especially in late games. He's not one of the best coaches in the league, but, you know, he, I don't know how many times he's made the playoffs. He's made the playoffs, you know, many, many times. Um, he's really, you know, uh, fit in well with that Kansas City team and that Kansas City, you know, crowd and everything out there and Alex Smith and, um, you know, you got to tip your cap to him this year for them getting the number two seed. Uh, they're a good football team and, you know, uh, he, 
the way he runs things is a little, a little unorthodox compared to a lot of other NFL coaches. But it's all the, it all matters what what the outcome is, and, and uh, you know um, I think it's a good thing because there's not many other head coaches out there that are a lot better than uh, Andy Reid. Um, Andy's you know our Andy's always uh, figuring out what he's trying to order off <laughs> off the menu when he's uh, looking at his play call sheet. So uh, you know good for him. Sources, Bills plan to give new coach more power. The new head coach of the Bills is expected to have more power within the organization, sources told ESPN's Adam Schefter. Um, well, I mean, we'll, we'll see what that means when they do hire a new head coach. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a difficult position for them to fill because um, I don't think they want to go in the direction, direction of a first-time head, NFL head coach. Um, they they def they desperately want to win up there in Buffalo, and they haven't won in, in such a long time. That I don't know if they're going to give it to a first-time head coach if they even want it. Now, um, if he has more power, great. But sometimes, you know, you can give the head coach too much power. So um, that's discussion for the GM and the owner. Now we've talked about this already, but Browns hire Williams. Expect quote attacking. Defense. Yeah, you can the, throw all it. Uh, the Browns have hired Greg Williams to fix a defense that was among the NFL's worst in 2016. Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Greg Williams. <laughs> um, let's see here. Bell sets Steelers' rushing record for playoff game. Pittsburgh running back Le'Veon Bell torched the Miami Dolphins for 167 yards on 29 carries Sunday, breaking the Steelers' single-game postseason rushing record previously held by Franco Harris. Yeah, that's a that's a big uh, record to break. Anytime you're talking about Franco Harris in Pittsburgh, Le'Veon Bell is is an absolute stud. You know, uh, in my opinion, he's clearly the best running back in the in the league uh, for what he does. Um, you know, he's a three-down back. Uh, can run the ball, can catch the ball, and, and uh, has home run speed. You know, is quick. You know, can make uh, sudden sudden moves and uh, make plays with his feet. He's very smart. He has great vision. Um, this is a top top of the line type of guy. This is a guy that you know, is, if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, that you never want to see leave for any reason. Um, they're going to have to make a decision what they're going to do with him and Antonio Brown. Um, each are, you know, uh, both best at their respective positions, in my mind. They're going to need Le'Veon Bell, um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a top, top-notch, you know, player. Big Ben in walking boot, but says he'll play in KC. Despite leaving the locker room in a walking boot Sunday, Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger said he'll play in Kansas City next week. Well, he has to. I mean, come on. Uh, it's playoffs. Uh, but um, Big Ben, as we know, you know, could get hit by a car and uh, get up and he'd play the game. Um, sometimes he plays too many times when he, you know, shouldn't be. But he's a competitor. He's a gamer. No one's going to take, you know, if, if he can walk, he can play. So uh, I expect that to be one of the better games this weekend. Um, I'm excited to watch it. Carr says he would have played in Super Bowl. Derek Carr who suffered a broken fibula in his right leg, insisted he would have been back to play in the Super Bowl had the Oakland Raiders advanced to the title game on February 5th. They lost, so it's a not event. Rodgers throws another Hail Mary in wild card win. Aaron Rodgers connected with Randall Cobb on a last second 42 yard touchdown pass heading into halftime of the Packers eventual 38-13 wild card victory over the Giants on Sunday. We saw this. We were uh, yep. this the first we, we were at the casino Sunday in. night. Yeah. We had just gotten in and uh, I think we were watching the TV over in the casino. at the blackjack table and, Yep. Um, uh, was yeah. it that or the Texas Holden table? It was a blackjack table. All right. I wasn't playing blackjack that time, but oh, it might have been the Texas. It was Texas Hold'em yeah, table, yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, unbelievable. Just went through everybody, and then you know, right in the back of the end zone. Yeah, everybody just stared at it, falling down. Packers Nelson exits wild card win with rib injury. Packers receiver Jordy Nelson couldn't return to the wild card game against the Giants after taking a shot to the left side of his body from New York safety Leon Hall. I didn't see much of this. I mean, I honestly, um, you know, we were traveling. And, you know, by the time we got in and turned on the TV, we had a lot of things going on. I didn't watch, um, you know, this play plays in and plays out. But, you know, anytime time you, uh, you get hit, you know, where, where Nelson got hit, um, you know, it's going to be tough. But he's a tough player. 
he's dealt with injuries, you know, he'll be ready to roll on, uh, what do they play, Saturday or something? I don't know. We'll, we'll get okay. to it. I think it's Sunday. Giant season still a success with the return to playoffs. The Giants are building a formidable defense, but still have some major decisions to make, and Eli Manning isn't getting any younger. No, he's not. Um, that The defense played a lot better. I think the only thing that they're really missing, which is a huge part to any team, is their running game. I mean, their running game was just an absolute non-event, which, you know, put Eli in second and third and long and um, shut down Beckham. So the defense kept them in games. The defense won games from them this year. Um, but the time's ticking on Eli, and they need to get that running game uh, going ASAP. OBJ bangs head, allegedly punches hole after a loss. Odell Beckham Jr. allegedly punched a hole in a wall at Lambeau Field and banged his head against the door after the Giants' Sunday playoff loss to the Packers, ESPN Sal Palantonio reports. Well, I mean, uh, he's a competitor, and, you know, uh, he lost the game, and um, they looked bad in the second half. They looked terrible, so... Um, you know, he's a young guy. He'll be in many more playoff games. Patriots, this is as of three days ago. Patriots' biggest playoff favorite since 1998. The Patriots are currently 16-point favorites against the Texans in Saturday's AFC Divisional Playoff matchup, making New England one of the biggest playoff favorites over the past 40 years. Yeah, and I was talking to Andy the other, you know, and I said, um, if Houston go in, goes in and, and, and beats New England um, on Saturday night, uh, it's equivalent to, uh, as far as being underdogs for Houston, it's equivalent to the, when the, the Patriots won their first Super Bowl against um, St. Louis Rams. Um, the, the, the Pats on that game were 14-point dogs to um, you know, uh, St. Louis at the time. Um, now, they, you know, Texas are plus 15, plus 16. It, like I said before, the Stars are going to have to align. New England's going to have to turn the ball over three to five times. And... Um, um, that you know, it's really going to have to be um, either an injury or Brady just throws you know eight interceptions um, to for Houston to win that game. So yeah, I I could see why the line is 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 <laughs> that severe. Steelers coach Porter arrested at Pittsburgh bar. Steelers assistant coach Joey Porter was arrested at a Pittsburgh bar Sunday after the team's wild card win over the Miami Dolphins. Jerry Porter, we know about, you know, last time we saw Jerry Porter. Joey Porter. Joey Porter, sorry. Uh, he was on the field, you know, with the shenanigans going on. Got a Cincinnati. The Cincinnati game, yeah. you know, and he was mixing it up. Uh, Porter is a, uh, he's a, you know, he's a punk. He's a piece of shit. And, um, I wish they would have put him behind bars. Brady, quote, nothing easy about facing Texans. Although the Patriots have defeated the Texans five straight times by a healthy 171-79 to margin, quarterback Tom Brady said it's never easy going up against Houston's top-ranked defense. Correct, and uh, th those games don't mean a thing um, come Saturday night. You know, uh, Houston's going to play with nothing to lose. They don't have anything to lose. They're not expecting no one, no one in, you know, in the world expects them to win this game. Um, but they do have a good, de a good defense, and, you know, um, we'll see what they can do against Brady. Brady, you know, torched them earlier this year. Um, but I think that most guys are healthy, and they're used to playing their best. Brady football. didn't play him this year. Uh, who did? Brissett. Brissett. Yeah. Was that, was that Brissett? Yeah, that was Brissett. Against Houston? Correct. It wasn't Garoppolo. He got injured. Oh, it was opening night. No, that was Arizona. Arizona was, oh, yeah, it was Brissett against Houston. That's right, because they were at home, and they shut him out. Twenty-seven, nothing. Okay. And then, right. the, and then, and then, everybody was saying, "Oh, when Brissett, when Garoppolo couldn't play against uh, Buffalo, there's everybody was commenting on, oh, is he really, is he being a pussy?' Blah 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 blah. Oh, okay. And Brissett ended up playing that and broke his hand in the game. Remember? Yeah. And then the, they lost the that game. Yeah. Correct. Um, well, um, I apologize. Uh, when Brissett played, they, uh, you, you know. But the, the Houston defense wasn't what it was like back then and it is now, so we'll see what happens. Tar Heels quarterback Trubisky declares for NFL draft. Quarterback Mitch Trubisky will forego a senior season at North Carolina and enter the NFL draft, he announced in a letter published by the Players' Tribune. Once again, I, I know I like those juniors to stay, but we'll see what, can, we'll see what he can do. Lyon Stafford, quote, new contract not up to me. Quarterback Matthew Stafford says discussions about a contract extension with the Detroit Lions have not started yet, and that whether and that whether a deal gets done in the offseason is not up to him. 
A deal will get done in the offseason. Seahawks running back ProSize sit for return to practice. Seahawks running back C.J. ProSize, who has been sidelined with a shoulder injury since week 11, might return Saturday against the Falcons, according to Coach Pete Carroll. That whole uh, backfield for Seattle has kind of been a revolving door. Everyone's getting hurt, and uh, we'll see. He'll add another element to that Seattle offense, so we'll, we'll see if he plays. I think, I think if he's you know questionable, he will play. JPP says he won't sign another one-year deal. Jason Pierre-Paul said he will not play on another one-year deal with the Giants. Hey, that's his right. We'll see where, where he ends up then. Roethlisberger, no need for boot, quote, good to go. Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger told the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette that an MRI showed, quote, nothing severe in his right foot and that he'll be in the lineup someday against the Chiefs. Of course he'll play. Manning on OB OBJ boat trip, quote, got to back it up. Eli Manning said New York Giants teammate Odell Beckham Jr. has, quote, got to back it up if he continues to bring attention to himself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I've said just about every word I could possibly say about Beckham, but the, the bottom line is, you know, um, when he does mature, I think the Giants will be excited, but, you know, he's just a, he's a wild animal right now. Steelers placed Porter on leave at following arrest. Steelers assistant coach Joey Porter was placed on leave after he was arrested at a Pittsburgh bar Sunday night following the team's wild card win over the Dolphins. Good, hopefully they fire him. Packers Nelson out of hospital, status iffy. Packers receiver Jordy Nelson spent the night in the hospital after suffering a rib injury in Sunday's wild card win, and it's not clear if he will be able to play Sunday at Dallas. He will play. Jaguars hire Coughlin as VP, nice, yeah. Marone as coach. The Jacksonville Jaguars officially hired Doug Marone as head coach on Monday and brought back Tom Coughlin to oversee football operations as executive vice president. Um, yeah, I think they, they each signed three-year contracts or four-year contracts, but, um, you know, I think that the, the Jacksonville was really seriously looking at Coughlin as a head coach, um, but the, you always got to, you know, if you hire him as a head coach, you really needed someone underneath him, you know, so they could... Uh, when he does, you know, retire, so this is kind of the next best, the next best thing. Uh, Doug Marone's a well, well-respected coach in the NFL, and I think uh, if there's anyone that can step in there and, and at least get them to the playoffs, you know, I think um, Doug Marone is a step in the right direction. NFL Union to review if Finns followed protocol. The NFL and NFLPA have launched investigations to determine if the Dolphins followed concussion protocol with quarterback Matt Moore after he was hit by the Steelers' Bud Dupree. Uh, let's hope he did, because if they didn't, then they're in a lot of trouble. Oh, uh, and just started to Start pour. Start to pour, yep. Wow. Wow. Uh, That's what happens. How do you like those apples? That was it's probably, probably going to end in two seconds. But, Looks like it's already dying down. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they better have followed protocol. They're in a lot of trouble. Jaguars, again, counting on Tom Coughlin to turn them into a contender. Bringing back Tom Coughlin as VP of Football Operations is a good move by the Jaguars, who aren't far from challenging for the AFC South title. Yeah, when he was head coach there, he would, you know, four different playoff appearances with two, you know, AFC Championship appearances. So if there's anyone that can do it, it's the guy that did it, you know, at first. Claiborne returns as Cowboys continue to heal. Cornerback Morris Claiborne will return for the Cowboys. Tyrone Crawford, Demarcus Lawrence, and Terrell McClain will also be available versus the Packers. Yeah, they're going to need everybody. Tomlin, blame me for play call that hurt Big Ben. Steelers coach Mike Tomlin shouldered the blame for the play call that resulted in quarterback Ben Roethlisberger's foot injury. I mean, it's one of those scenarios, I guess you could, I mean, there's really no one to blame. It's, you know, you're playing a game of football. Tomlin, Porter's arrest won't distract Steelers. Steelers coach Mike Tomlin opened his news conference Tuesday by addressing assistant coach Joey Porter's arrest, saying it won't be a distraction for his team this week. It won't. Uh, Texans Wolfork not buying Pat's favorite talk. Former Patriot and current Texan Vince Wolfork isn't worrying about New England being the heavy favorite for Saturday's game. <laughs> He's confused. <laughs> Peppers leaving Wolverines commits to NFL draft. Jabril Peppers is leaving Ann Arbor. The Michigan star announced Tuesday that he will enter the NFL draft where he's expected to be among the top picks. Yeah, he will, and, um, you know, it's all to, to depend what he's going to be. I think he's like 6'1", 245, um, great athlete. Um, you know, he, he was obviously on Michigan, you know, with one year with Don Brown, the, you know, uh, who I know real well. Don Zebra. 
and uh, probably arguably the best defensive coordinator in uh, the uh, NCAA football. We'll see what he can do. I mean, he will be a top pick, and it's a question of what they're going to do with him. You know, uh, they may you know, they may have him uh, drop some weight and, and uh, play safety, strong safety, or, um, you know, because he's not getting any taller. So they'll, they'll figure out something. He's a hell of a player. Ravens planning for linebacker Suggs to return in 2017. Ravens general manager Ozzie Newsom said the team expects linebacker Terrell Suggs to return in 2017. Well, yeah, no, he's a, he, I mean, uh, if there was a Hall of Fame for uh, having diarrhea in the mouth, he'd be the number one guy. But he's a, you know, he's a very, very good um, leader, uh, very vocal, you know, but still can play. So. I think Ravens, you know, the Raven fan will want him to come back. Sources, Jags retain only three defensive coaches. Jaguars head coach Doug Marone has retained only three defensive coaches from former head coach Gus Bradley's staff. Yeah, usually, you know, when the new head coach comes in, very rarely. Three is a high number, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, those three guys obviously did their job. Bell, quote, I'm changing NFL like Harry changed NBA. Le'Veon Bell told Bleacher Report that he believes he is changing the NFL the way Stephen Curry changed the NBA. Uh, it's a fair comparison, you know, two completely different games. But, you know, he is, you know, every time he touches the ball, you know, you're going to want to watch. Sources, Musgrave out as Raiders O coordinator. Bill Musgrave guided the NFL's sixth-ranked offense, but the Raiders reportedly will not bring him back for the 2017 season. Wow, there must have been, um, you know, some... Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, rift between him and uh, either head coach or the quarterback. Packers wide receiver Allison faces marijuana charges. Packers wide receiver Geronimo Allison faces marijuana charges after being pulled over September 4th. It's the first time I've heard of that guy, so I don't know who he is. Ravens owner Steve Biscotti, Biscotti preaches continuity even though pitchforks are out. Quote, pitchforks are out. Ravens owner Steve Biscotti described the 2016 season as one of, quote, bewilderment but he believes in John Harbaugh, Ozzie Aussie Newsom, and Joe Flacco. Yeah, they'll be back for sure. Cowboys hope Ezekiel Elliott has Ohio State type playoff run. Ezekiel Elliott is at his best in big games. He thrived in that environment in college, and the Cowboys expect that to continue in the NFL playoffs. I don't see why he wouldn't. Packers run D gets shot at redemption against Cowboys Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott's 157 rushing yards the last time he faced Green Bay served to laser focus the Packers on what they need to stop Sunday. Yeah, I mean, that, that's where it's all going to start. If Green Bay wants to win that game, they're going to have to, you know, obviously they're playing on the road. They're going to want to, you know, shut down the running game first and then and then go off to the quarterback next. Sources, McDermott, Bills again discuss vacancy. The Bills are again meeting with Panthers defensive coordinator Sean McDermott about their head coaching job, sources told ESPN. That would be an interesting hire. Source, Bucks defensive end Spence has shoulder surgery. Buccaneers DE Noah Spence is undergoing surgery to repair a torn labrum in his right shoulder, a source told ESPN. It's the time to do it. Manziel set for appearances ahead of Super Bowl. Johnny Manziel will sign at two mall locations in Texas on February 2nd. Prices will range from $50 for a selfie with him to $100 plus for a signed item with an additional inscription. It's a waste of money. Vikings offensive staff has almost completely turned over in a year. Mike Zimmer will have an almost entirely new offensive staff in his fourth year as the Vikings continue to find an identity on that side of the ball. Yeah, it seems like Mike Zimmer just, you know, runs coaches out of town. <clears throat> Robert Griffin III joins HGTV's Fixer Upper to renovate veterans' home. Browns quarterback Robert Griffin III joined the hosts of HGTV's Fixer Upper to help renovate the home of a Vietnam War veteran. No, good for him. Pacific Pro Football League to debut in 2018. The Pacific Pro Football League, which is for high school graduates who aren't eligible for the NFL, is set to debut in 2018. Uh, it's going to be a disaster. Um, let's see. Patriots LeGarrette Blunt, one of best values in NFL history. LeGarrette Blunt's career season of 18 touchdowns on 299 carries cost the Patriots roughly $1 million. Talk about a steal for what the veteran running back provided. Absolutely. I love LeGarrette Blunt. Andy doesn't like him. <laughs> um, and I'm always going to remind him that. Yep. Um, LeGarrette Blunt, you know, that's a great article because, you know, 
Anytime you can pay a guy a million dollars and he scores 18 touchdowns, that's an absolute steal. Texans players using 16-point line as motivation versus Patriots. Bill O'Brien might not be using the whooping, the whopping point spread against his team to fuel its fire against the Pats, but his players have other plans. Yeah, I mean, that should fire them up. That just shows you how bad they are. From Connor Cook to Tom Brady, Texans quarterback challenge gets big upgrade. Yeah. The Texans handled the Raiders quarterback in their playoff opener, but he was a rookie. Next up is a future Hall of Famer, and they're relishing the chance. That's like playing one-on-one -on -one with, a, with a fifth grader and then beating that fifth grader and then having to play one-on-one -on -one with LeBron James. What Bills fans need to know about new coach Sean McDermott, so they hired, they hired him. him. Yep. Okay, a self-described, quote, intense coach, Sean McDermott was a state champion wrestler and a college teammate of Steelers coach Mike Tomlin. Yeah, I mean, I think he should do well there. Uh, don't be late. Tom Coughlin takes control even before he's introduced. If you're not five minutes early to Coughlin's news conference on Thursday, then you're late. An early sign that the disciplinarian is in charge. Yeah, I mean, that's the rule I always live by. Um, when you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, don't bother showing up. Joseph's, Joseph signs four-year deal to coach Broncos. The Broncos have signed Dolphins offensive coordinator Vance Joseph to replace Gary Kubiak as their head coach, the team announced. DJ. Now, this is a guy I worked with in San Francisco for a little while. Went out with him all the time. Um, great guy. Um, great family man. Um, everything, all the best. Uh, I'll be rooting for VJ uh, big time, even though it is with the Broncos. You know, he's a good guy. And he, you know, I hope, I hope him a lot of success. Bills turned to McDermott to end playoff drought. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they got to turn to somebody. Trouble. <laughs> Troubled. Troubled Rams running back Mason arrested again in Florida. Trey Mason. Uh, I guess so. Sure. Anyway, let's go to the scores. Thank God. Yeah. Somebody's hungry. I'm starving. Well, I'm too. just saying it's getting pretty dark. It's out. getting dark out. There's shenanigans going on. There's footsie footsies going on down so there. So last week I was zero uh, and four against the spread with four and zero. Against the spread with four and zero on my picks. Yeah. So I let's see let's see who. Uh, Let's see it was who, just uh, me and it was just you and, and what's his face and, and Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. But um, here's the drill, okay? Okay, here here's the drill. Ooh, are they? Um, let's go to this. Let's go to uh, videos. Oh. Let's see here. Let's look at me over, over here. here. Um, he picked Texans, Seahawks, Steelers, Packers. So he also went 4 0. Texas. Texans, Seahawks, Steelers, and Packers. So okay. he's, he's tied with you 4 0. Okay. So we got uh, Saturday, January 14th at 4 35 p.m. We have Seattle, 10 5 and 1, going into Atlanta, who is 11 and 5. Atlanta's favored by 4.5 at home. Um. This is the whole Yulia 999 uh, I know, deal. I know. Um, first, I'm going to take the, the Seahawks plus four and a half. Um, you know, four and a half is a lot of points in this game. Uh, it's going to be a great game. I think um, if it's a close game, Seattle wins. Um, but as far as the pick, I'm going to take Atlanta to win the game. Now, this is interesting. The rest of these three games, there's no line anymore on uh, on ESPN. Okay. So, Houston at 8.15 p.m., Houston 9-7, and seven, goes into New England, who's 14-2. and two. I'm taking New England for the game. I'll, I'll get look up the spread right now. Okay. Um, as we speak right now, it is... Um, uh, let's see what we got over here. Over where? Over here. Uh, Over here. Let's see. Fifteen and a half. I'm going to take the Pats minus fifteen and a half. All right. Then Sunday, January fifteenth at one o five p.m. We have Pittsburgh, who's eleven and five, going into face Kansas City, who's twelve and four. No line on that. Plus one and a half for who? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. So Kansas Pittsburgh. City, because Kansas City's minus one and a half. I'm going to take Pittsburgh to win the game, and I'm going to take Pittsburgh plus one and a half. All right, and then 4.40 p.m., we have Green Bay, who's 10-6, and six, going in to face Dallas, who's 13-3. and three. Um, I'm going to take Green Bay plus four and a half. 
and Dallas to win the game. Technically, these records are, if you want to get funny about it, Seattle's 11-5-1, and one, Houston's 10-7, and seven, Pittsburgh's 12-5, and five, and Green Bay's 11-6. and six. All right, so that's the show right, from, from Sexy Aruba. We'll see you. Look at the pool, the, the pool there yeah. lit, lit up. People, you know, the birds are chirping. Yep. We're about to go eat. Uh, we leave Friday. Yeah. Uh, we'll get back, we'll back at, like we're getting back at midnight, yeah. uh, East, East Coast time. Yep. And uh, we're probably going to stay over in Connecticut. And uh, we're going to leave Saturday uh, morning uh, to drive back home. Yes. And then I'm going to upload this Saturday. Um, but I'm going to do a video anyway that I can quickly upload from my phone. It's going to explain to everybody that sure. you'll see it Saturday. Sure. Um, and you can even give out in that quick video, give my picks if anyone's looking for the picks before well, if, Saturday. Well, well if, I, if I do that, then why are they going to watch this? But is it going to be uploaded in time before the oh, game? Oh, sure. Starts? Because if we leave, let's say Connecticut, we leave at 10 a.m. Okay. We'll be home by, what, 11, 30, 12? Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's your, it's your well, it's, call. It's 4.40 p.m. You're the yeah. head guy. This, this will be uploaded by 1 o'clock. Okay. And, and the pit, well, to bet, I get, yeah, there's plenty of time. But I'll, so I'll tell everybody that it'll probably be uploaded around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, that way, if they need the picks, they're just going to wait till then. Sure. Um, I don't love that status. What the hell am I doing? So anyway, that's the drill. Thanks for watching. We'll All see right, you. guys. See you.